close to my flowers down here, I want to make sure that it's fairly dark in this area because if it's not, you won't see the flowers the way I want you to see the flowers. So this area is going to be relatively dark in this area here. I want to really showcase. And I've got some frisket on those flowers. We talked about the frisket on the edge of the trees up here. I've also got it on my flowers down here. And the reason for that is I want to, I want to make sure that uh, I protected that area so I can take the frisket off and then paint the flowers. I'll come in with a little bit more of my darker. This is a darker green. I had some lighter green that I sprayed in a couple of areas, but now I'm putting a little bit of the darker green in here and there just for a little texture. I want to make sure that I've got this nice and dark and rich color down here, this dark green, dark blue, for the same reason I just mentioned. I've got some flowers here. So for them to showcase so that you can see them, it has to be solid, dark area here. Otherwise, they won't pop out, so to speak. Okay. Now, I've got the color on my, on my paper the way I want it. I'll come back in and spend a little more time uh, with this area here in the grass area. But for the meantime, what I want to do is I want to take and dry this whole area first, take the frisket off of my trees and complete that. Then we'll complete this area at the bottom. Let me go ahead and take a moment and dry this. I'm going to come in and take my larger brush, my one inch flat brush, mix up some more of the dark green, dark blue, my ultramarine blue deep, my hooker green deep. And I'll come down in this area and just put in a darker value of color here. And again, the reason for it is if I don't, then those areas where I have the frisket on my flowers here will not show very brightly. There's going to be some contrast. If the flowers are light and the grass area is light, you're not going to see the flowers very well. Just take and pull some of that color away with just water on your brush. And we've got some nice textures going on here as well. Now I have to stop and I have to dry this. Now I'm ready to remove the frisket over here. I'm going to take my frisket remover again. I'm going to remove where the flowers are. See how I'm pulling that frisket away, and now I've got the white of the paper where the flowers are. Let me take a moment here. We're going to put in a little bit of uh, yellow for some flowers here. We may even add a touch of red to it just to make it a little more exciting. Some yellow, some orange in this case. Make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure your colors are always nice and clean. We'll add just another little touch of orange, not too orangey. Just a little bit. Just putting in some nice color. You don't have to spend a lot of time on them. Don't be so exact that you have to go inside all of the lines. Just put in the color. It will look very natural like so. Okay. And I, I realistically need to dry that quickly and put in the centers of the flower. And I'll do that in a minute. But let me just take one moment and come up here. See how I've got the flowers in here now? And let me go ahead and take one moment, dry this, and then we'll put the finishing touches on. We'll be finished. Now, again, it's dry. So I'm going to take my burnt sienna with my number eight round brush. And I'm going to go ahead and put in just a little center to some of these flowers. And that's all I'm going to do. Just keep it really simple. And now you can see the wildflowers here in the, uh, in, the, in the foreground of this particular painting. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can come in and take and put in a couple of stems or something of that nature if you want to just get a little crazier in some leaf and so forth. I don't know that that's necessary, but if, it's, uh, if you feel that it is, then you can go ahead and do that too. I'll show you how I would do it. Just a couple of little suggestions of some leaf area there. Don't do it everywhere, but just in the foreground. 